Hi, I'm Nancy Quinn. You know, this is the time of day where I like to sit down with a cup of tea and answer questions uh, from people who like my art or read my books, because I get a variety of questions about what it's like to live in the country and on a mountain, or about my art, or even something about the books themselves. And since I like tea so much, I thought it would be fun to also tell you about some of my favorite teas. So I was lucky enough to come across this one in the grocery store. It's a chocolate hazelnut tea, and it's made by a company called Stash. And I really like it because we all know the truth is that chocolate is really a girl's best friend. And so I've been enjoying this tea, and I think it's uh, worth it if you want to give it a try as well. So let's get to my first question. This one is from Al in Arizona. He wants to know, how do you deal with depression with all that white snow? Well, Al, I guess coming from Arizona, you probably don't get all this white snow. And it's a, it's a really good question because the wintertime is hard on a lot of people. And I'll admit that on days when the sun isn't out, it kind of affects my mood too. So what I do is I try to look for the beauty in every single day whether it's the ice on the trees or the way the snow glistens when the sun hits it, it, it kind of looks like handfuls of glitter are everywhere. And I try to enjoy the beauty in the small moments. I also stay very busy. When I'm inside during the winter, I'm writing or I'm doing some baking or even doing these videos. So all of that activity really helps as well. And Dave, from Maine wants to know, have you ever considered writing fiction? That's a good question too, because truthfully, I'm more comfortable writing about what I know, which is why most of my writing is about true life experiences. But fiction is a possibility, especially historical fiction, because I find that idea pretty interesting. So I guess we'll just have to see what, what the future brings. And Jennifer from Canada, she wants to know, Nancy, what is your favorite animal to paint or draw? Well, that's kind of putting me on the spot because there are so many of them that I like. I have to admit I'm partial to the birds of prey, but since we've moved out here and I've actually seen more wild cats in the wild, like bobcats and cougars, it's a whole different feeling than drawing or painting them when they're in captivity. So I really lean towards those two. I think they're my favorites. They have a lot of personality and I just find them incredibly beautiful. And the big cats themselves have so much poise and so much grace that when they come into the yard, I'm, I'm simply captivated by their presence. So I hope that kind of answers your questions and gives you, gives you an idea of, of how we live here and the different kinds of things that we see every day in our life. If you have any more questions, I'm happy to get them. Please put them in the comments or send them to me. Investigate the links below and I'll see you next time really soon. Oh, and try the tea and tell me what you think.